Hey guys, right now I want to show you how to use the targeting menu in our Astera app. The targeting menu is the second button in from the left hand side denoted by the circle here. Once you're in the targeting menu, you can add any different model of Astera light and control it individually. You can also add flow sets or sync sets to this list. Behind me, you'll see that I have four AX3s and an AX10 in the middle that I'm going to show you how I can control them separately. If you hit this plus button here and then select AX3, you hit the plus button again and select AX10, I've added both of the type of lights that I want to control to my targeting menu. The other thing I can do is hit the plus button and select a flow set. This flow set you can create right on the spot unless you already have your lights set in a flow set, which I do. Uh, the AX3s are actually set up position one through four. So I'm just gonna hit confirm and then I'm gonna hit save. Now in my targeted menu you'll see I have a flow set, I have AX3s and AX10s. I can pick one and control it individually. Right now I'm gonna control the AX10. So I'm gonna hit AX10, go to my programs menu, and then let's say I want to change it blue while leaving the AX3s alone. Or if I want to go back to my targeting menu, select AX3s, unselect the AX10, go to my programs menu, and select a uh, program like Rainbow. Now you can see it changes my AX3s while leaving the AX10 alone. So if you have a cake table or a different architectural feature that you want to control separately, this makes it very easy to do. The other thing you can do is select a flow set that you've created. In this case, the AX3s are under a flow set. Go to the Programs menu, and a good example would be White Flash, which shows that they're in synchronous order, one through four, without affecting my AX10.